Hi, this is your host, Sapin Bhartia, and welcome to another episode of TFR Let's Talk. And today we have with us once again, Dimitri Petrov, co-founder and CEO of Iterative. And today we are going to talk about DBC extension for Visual Studio Code that is now available on VS Code Marketplace. It's an open source project by Iterative. Uh, Dimitri, it's great to have you on the show. Uh, thank you. Uh, happy to be here. First of all, tell us a bit about you know DVC extension uh, for Visual uh, Studio Code, what it is, and you know uh, where it's available, and why are you launching it now? DVC VS Code extension is uh, um, an extension for uh, the code editor, right? If you are a VS Code user, uh, you can install VS Code uh, and uh, add the extension. It's open source. Uh, in addition to the extension you can install that, that you can install for free, you can f find a source code uh, uh, how we build uh, the extension. Uh, the purpose of the extension is to give you um, experiment tracking experience uh, right on your uh, code editor to VS Code. Uh, so today you're probably familiar with multiple different uh, experiment tracking tools. Uh, some open source, some proprietary, but that's very common approach to have uh, when you do experimentation. You use experiment tracking to understand what kind of, how many experiments you run, like how, what what metrics you got, uh, how metrics is growing right now when the experiment is running. So is it time to stop it? Uh, are you still need to wait and waste uh, and spend your GPU resources on this? So a lot of questions that experiment tracking tool can answer. And today there are a bunch of experiment tracking tool that you can deploy and use or use a SaaS uh, in the cloud. What our biggest question is, do you really need a special separate service for that? Why don't you have this experience right on your ID, right on your like next to your code editor? So, and together with the code, you will have all the experience with hundreds of experiments that you run, all the metrics, all the beautiful graphs, and everything right on your uh, development experience. So that's the motivation for this, to improve development experience, uh, to improve the way uh, people uh, uh, work with uh, uh, development, uh, model development. A full VS Code native experimentation platform, control data sets, run experiments, view metrics, create plots, and much more. It's a one-stop shop for everything relating to your ML experiments. All in one place, in your IDE, the DVC extension uses command palette, reducing the need to learn syntax by heart. Want to run a new experiment or pull data from your remote repository? Give the word in the command palette and the DVC extension will guide you all the way. Manage parameters and compare both metrics and plots for different models easier analysis of your experiments and finding the best model. See at a glance which datasets and models have been changed with the DVC Tract Explorer and navigate through all the files contained in your DVC project. On top of Git version control, source control management lets you manage datasets and DVC Tract models. See artifact changes and synchronize versions with your remote repository. Use checkout, commit, add, push and pull straight from the interface. So basically, you allow them to, you know, kind of run uh, machine learning experiments in the VS Code without needing any external uh, services. It's like fully self-contained. Is that true? Absolutely, yeah. So you install VS Code, uh, you install the extension, uh, you run your code, everything is here, no external services. That, that's the beauty of this, uh, this tool. At the same time, you have all this like great uh, visual experience. Uh, right on your machine. What's the problem that you're trying to solve? Why, you know, you feel that, hey, you know what, we need to offer that? There are two reasons. Like, uh, first of all, you need to, you need to have this experience like closer to you. It, it's, uh, it's important to have like a shorter, shorter feedback loop. It's important not to, uh, uh, to have like a similar experience with a coding ID and the similar design, similar experience uh, of uh, experiment tracking. It's like it's all about like the best developer experience. How provide a best um, the best uh, UI for developers. Uh, and uh, when I say about like local experience, it not necessarily mean like your local machine, your lap laptop, right? Because in many cases, like people work with the clouds. Uh, but this is the beauty of VS Code because VS Code can work in a cloud through a browser. 
and many 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 companies many users like use VS Code on this way like through through web browser and uh, we are working with some clients and especially it's true about enterprises they're saying we don't want to give any piece of data to a local machine right we want to work 100 on cloud when it comes down to data and this is uh jupyter notebooks and vs code extension is a way to, to do this right you can have like a workbench somewhere with a jupyter lab with vs code extension and people can pick and choose which development environment they prefer and uh work work with this in the cloud uh with all the great experiment tracking experience without uh, additional services. So what value or what benefit uh, is there for data scientists through this extension? Yeah, the, so the experience is, uh, in general, is pretty much the same as uh, many other experiment tracking tools, right? Uh, when you run your experiment, you will see uh, your metrics in life. What is happening with your, let's say, loss function? Uh, what is your accuracy right now after like one minute of training? Because maybe your accuracy not drawing fast enough, you can cancel your experiments, like uh, improve model, or maybe fix some bugs, uh, change data set or whatever. Uh, and you need this feedback loop like very, uh, very quick. You need uh, not just numbers, you need a kind of image, right? You need a plot, you need a dynamic uh to see what is happening that's like one of one value of the ex experiment tracking the second value is when you run like sometimes like dozens of experiments a day in some cases even like hundreds and even thousands experiments a day you need to remember what exactly you have done today morning or uh, last week and you need to find this experiment say okay this experiment was good for that matrix and very likely it happened because my hyperparameter had that had this value, right? You need to remember, you need like kind of like a uh, bookkeeping system, like what you have done, what works well, what, what worked well, what not. And this is a good way of replacing your like pen and pencil. Uh, this is what I done before when I was in academia, like 10 years ago. <laughs> and now you have a system which tracks all the experiments automatically. Now, uh, what we are doing special here is uh, we are bringing this experience to your uh, VS Code, to your ID. Uh, first and second, uh, we make those experiments uh, reproducible, fully reproducible, because uh, there is a DVC under the hood, there is a Git under the hood, and when you run new experiments, we are not just tracking your hyperparameters and metrics and live metrics. We also tracking your code with the Git. And when you need to get back to your previous experiments from the previous week, for example, you know set of hyperparameters you use, and you know exactly what code change uh, you made. Sometimes you know there's like no connection between hyperparameters and code, but we like making the connection uh, using Git and DVC under the hood. Dimitri, thank you so much for taking time out today and talk to me about uh, this project. And uh, as usual, I would love to have you back on the show. Thank you. Thank you. It was a pleasure talking with you.